Now that we have the flight controller in flash mode, we're going to go into beta flight and click on firmware flasher. We need to check the board is the NAS board, and we'll go down and find NAS. There we are. And choose the current version. And we want to make sure that we have these settings set just like this, with no boot and full chip erase. Now that we got that, we're going to, we're going to come down to load firmware through the internet. And there we are. Scroll to the bottom and click Flash Firmware. And there we are. It's loading the firmware into the flight controller right now. And this takes just a few minutes. Once it's fully loaded, the flashing is going to change to verifying any moment now. There we are. It is loaded and now it's verifying that it is a good copy of the ROM. Almost done. And three, two, one. Programming is successful. You see that? So now we're going to go back to the welcome, click the connect button up here, and look at that. Now we have an activity. And if I move the, and if I rotate the quadcopter, it moves thus. We have now, our quadcopter is now ready to be fully programmed in beta flight.